Sickle cell disease is a disorder of red blood cells. And what happens is instead of your red blood cells being normally shaped like a circle, they're shaped like a half moon. The whole purpose of your red blood cells, their only job is to carry oxygen to all of the parts of the body that need it. So when you have these red blood cells that are shaped like a sickle or a half moon, they don't do a very good job of carrying oxygen. And that's why every single part of the body can be impacted by sickle cell disease because every part of you from head to toe needs oxygen to function normally. Like, I can't really do some of the things that my friends can do all the time. You're achy, you feel tired, you just don't really want to move. I was in the hospital a lot, and I missed school, I missed a lot of my friends, and I had a lot of work to do, but once I started taking it, I've just been like completely healthy. It doesn't define you as a person. Be confident that you have it. Take your medicine. Don't do activities that stress you out and strain yourself and keep yourself very healthy. Drink a lot of water. The sickle cell program at CHOR is made up of a whole team of professionals who have expertise in the care of patients with sickle cell disease. And we have folks with expertise in the areas of not only medical care, but care related to school, care related to parents' work, all kinds of support services that can help make sure we're taking care of the whole child and family. Currently, the only preventative therapy for sickle cell disease is a drug called hydroxyurea. We used to have to just wait for complications of sickle cell to happen and then deal with them. But in 2017, the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control, recommend that all patients with sickle cell disease start on hydroxyurea by the time they're 12 months of age. And this actually prevents a lot of the complication. And people who take hydroxyurea are actually living longer than patients who don't. So if you're hurting, just turn around, look at your parents, and just tell them. Like if it starts hurting automatically, you just you just automatically tell your parents that, or your teacher at school. How about you tell your parents that you're hurting and don't, don't give you your medicine? If you want to say that, you'll feel better.